It's September 6, 2018. This is Andrew in Omaha, Nebraska. Today, the project I'm going to begin is a uh, firefighter's helmet shield. It's a leather uh, identification placard that goes and bolts to the front of the firefighter's uh, helmet. And it'll have like the agency they work for, uh, usually their name uh, is incorporated towards the bottom and then any type of serial number or badge number that's assigned to that particular firefighter will be across the middle. This is a blank that I cut out. This is the leather that I'll be using. It's a, uh, I think this is like a eight to nine ounce veg tan Herman Oak uh, drum dried leather. And you can see it's dried all the way through. Uh, so there's no dyeing involved. And black's one of the hardest colors to dye. So um, if you can get a hold of some sort of leather that's already drum dried all the way through, you're not going to have to worry about it rubbing off later on and having like the uh, tan, vegetable tan leather showing through. This is a generic blank that I ordered. I don't even remember who I ordered the uh, the blank from um, a couple of years ago. But um, I ordered this, sandwiched the two pieces together, stitched them together by hand, and then I just traced uh, this design and painted it. I have 2016 stamped on here, so it's, this is two years old. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rough sketch a half of the uh, design on a piece of paper and then I'll go back with a pair or with a uh, piece of uh, tracing film that I got from Tandy. I draw out half of it then I'll flip it over and draw out the other side by tracing it so I, it's exactly the same on both sides. So I'm just going to take my ruler and draw a line down the center. And one of the things about these helmets, like I said, they clip onto the, or they bolt onto the front of the helmet. And a lot of helmets have a little hook at the top. That's what this, this notch is for. So, this is just a little over six inches. So I'm just going to mark on my center line. That'll be the height of the of the uh, shield between the mounting brackets, and then the little lip goes up about about three quarters of an inch. So I'll just make a little U shaped here. Come up three quarters of an inch and just rough sketch that out. And the width is approximately six inches as well. Just come over six inches. And then I'm just going to kind of freehand this design. And then that can change. I can easily erase this line and change it as I'm come out, as I'm going along here. I'm gonna make I'm gonna need three windows cut into this piece of leather, as well as the numbers. And I need to leave enough space between each one 
so the foot of my sewing machine can pass around it. So I'm going to come down about half an inch and that'll be the first window. So I'm going to put my 90 degrees, which is the top dead center, back on my center line by that mark I made. And I'm going to come down here to 130 and do the same on the bottom. Cap off the end. And I already knew that on this top, windows. Nope, see, I'm glad I checked that because that would not be wide enough. But that's why we're doing this. So we do it on a mess up on a piece of paper versus messing up on a piece of leather that Now that's going to be plenty of room for these windows. I might just even come up with on this part just a little bit. Double check that again and roughen this out. Looks like I would have been run out of room on that window as well. So, but like I said before, that's why we're doing this this way. I think I'm going to make my numbers a little smaller than what I originally planned. Initially went an inch and a half. Might have to go one inch or try an inch and three quarters and see what happens. Or an inch and a quarter rather. Off camera, I spent a little more time realigning these numbers exactly where I really want them. And then now I'm just going to go around with a marker so the lines are nice and heavy and they're easy to trace once I began transferring this over onto the, onto the uh, tracing film. Now I have the, the design I uh, drew out on the piece of paper. I'm just going to throw a piece of this tracing film over the top. You can get this at any Tandy store. It's thicker than regular tracing paper, so it's a lot more durable when you're going over your leather with a stylus. Well, I've tried to use regular tracing paper and I end up tearing it, so uh, this stuff is worth it. Um, and it's really not that expensive. I'm just going to take a little piece of tape there to help hold it down. 
And then I just go back over it with my marker. And then move this over just a little bit so I know I have enough room. Yep. Now I got one side traced onto the tracing film. straight edge on here. Now I'm going to trace this thing back over. I have a little tracing light that I bought from Tandy a while ago and if you don't have a, a light box like this, taping it up to the window like a patio window or something works just fine too. And I'm not going to trace the numbers because there's a corresponding set of numbers that are not the same and they're backwards anyway right now. So I don't know if this light's going to do it, but sometimes it'll dim out on you for no reason. And it's when, when it's working, it's great, but when it's not working, it is a pain. And it's well outside. I mean, this thing's probably two years old now, so exchanging it for another one's out of the question. And there we go. All right, I measured out the other two numbers. And then I'm just going to go back over it with the marker. All right, I finished tracing this thing out. It's even on both sides. And I laid out my stamps in the correct number that I'm going to need when I stamp it into the leather. But as you can see, it's important to do uh, this laying out process in order to make this window big enough to hold all these stamps. It's centered up the best you can uh, between the two edges so the foot of the machine can pass through and uh, you're going to be able to uh, have the window positioned so it's not covering any of your stamps up when you sandwich the two pieces together. And then like I said I'm going to cut these numbers out of some thinner leather here and I'll probably hand sew, in fact I will hand sew those to the outside panel because you stitch the numbers on before you, uh, then you sandwich the uh, two pieces together and then you go around the outside 
to help uh, secure everything down. And then you also go around the perimeter uh, and stitch all that down. But this is the way I do it. It's even on both sides. So if you have any questions or you know a better way to do this, uh, let me know because I'm always open to learning new techniques. So in the next video, I will uh, be wetting down the leather, tracing this out with the uh, stylus here, just going over these lines, cut it out and stitch it together. So until then, like I said, it's September 6th, 2018. This is Andrew in Omaha, Nebraska, and have a nice day.